Hello again and welcome to another Handy Dan video. Today we're going to cover the proper tramming of one of these Chinese mills. When I bought this mill, it had three separate extruded aluminum pieces to the table. And they were all uneven. It also had a lot of metal shavings on them. And then from one edge of the table to the other, it had a 24 thousandths of an inch difference. I replaced the whole table with this one piece aluminum T-slot table off of eBay. Here we are at the mill. We have a couple one, two, three blocks in our indicator. The common problem is out of tram spindles. You see here we are on the block. As I spin around back, you are not touching. There can be several places to consider. We have these bolts that hold the rails and these bolts that hold the motor mount. So an illustration can be exaggerated like this. I see a lot of videos where they just adjust the motor mount to equalize the tram. If we only shim the motor, our starting Z position will move in Y as Z travels down. The same example can be seen for the X tram. If we were to shim the motor only, our Z starting position will move in X as Z travels down. So the first thing we need to check and verify is that the table itself is flat and level. My table was rated at plus or minus four thou, so it does have some highs and lows, but in overall, the indicator just barely dropped off a couple times, but I think we're good. got some highs and lows, but there's no way to really adjust that. I'm not going to try to mill this to the floor. Now before we go adjusting anything, we need to check the Z linear run out. As we see here, that is my problem. About 10 thousandths of an inch and 3 inches. So that test showed my Z rails are not perpendicular. So this top mount is off. After adjusting the tram and Y, we are within a thousand. You see a wobble caused by the ball screw? It repeats the typical Chinese quality. My Z traverse in the X position was not adjustable, but it was within a few thousand. Again, you see the wobble caused by the ball screw. After verifying the traverse was correct, I adjusted the motor to tram in X. Now we do a final check. Here at the rear, we're reading about, about a 2,000 for a reference. It doesn't have to be zero, this is just a reference position. Here we're reading about a thou, so we got about a one thou difference. Here we're just creeping up on the zero. So we're still within a couple of thou from the rear. The 
And then on this side, we about a thou again. So, looks good. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment or any suggestions if you have any specific video requests. Please subscribe and click that like button. Keep up to date with all my new videos.